Here is one way to set up your design if you have four continuous factors. In this example, we're going to be looking at a Petri disk where our response is the bacteria count after 10 hours of testing. So for factors, I have agitation measured in rounds per minute, I have temperature measured in Celsius, I have pH, and I have the amount of sugar that I add to the Petri disk. Let's try and set up the design together. So I open Jump, I go to DOE, Custom Design. I then say the Y is bacteria growth. I have four continuous factors. One is agitation from 20 rounds per minute to 40. That's pretty slow. And we have temperature from 30 Celsius to 40. We have testing pH from 5 to 7. And we're testing adding some sugar to this Petri disk. And we're adding between 10 and 20 grams. Okay, when you've put in your responses, here I want to maximize the bacteria growth. I've added my four factors, so I'm ready to move on. And to do that, I hit continue. Then I specify that I want this to be a response surface model. So when I click there, I add to my model list all of the interactions and curvatures and main effects. And if you've seen some of my previous video, that will ring a bell to you. I then scroll down, Jump will tell me well, you, need, you need a minimum of 15 runs to do this design, and it's saying a default would be 21. Well, because I'm cheap, what I do is I always say, well, I use minimum plus one, so that will be 16 runs. I say make design, and then I press make table. And Jump has now created the design that I need to do, and I'm ready to go into the lab and create this. And to do that, I start off with run number one. I set agitation at the middle setting, temperature at the low setting, pH at the low setting, sugar at the high setting, and I type in here what was the bacteria growth after 10 hours of agitation. When you have completed all 16 experiments, you will have a full data table and you should be ready to do some modeling. Now you can then follow my five steps approach to creating a predictive model. And tomorrow I will be running you through a real life uh, example where I use this exactly this design and I'm showing you how I do the modeling as well. So catch you in the next one. Bye.